Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be me trying out a few new products. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I wanted to try out some products that are new to me and you know, in the world of YouTube or in the land of YouTube, if you don't have the makeup out the day that it drops or the day before it drops, you're like, it's like it's old news. But here, as you all know, I'm tardy to all parties. I attend the parties. I'm just tardy. <laughs> so anyway, um, I decided to try out the Wild Heart Eyeshadow Palette by Wet n Wild. This thing is so big. I was actually shocked by this palette. Spoiler alert. Um, it was only $20. You do get a lot of shades so i have that i also decided to try out this milani face palette with this palette you get the bronzer you get a blush you get a highlight you get some eyeshadows um they also give you like a little metallic -y type of blush uh, to go along with it and it's nice i also have a concealer by moira i think i'm pronouncing that correctly this is it right here spoiler alert i love this concealer this that concealer is really good okay and then i have the cream shop this is their gel eyeliner and i'm sure this has been out for ages but it's new to me here it is right here and it just comes in like a little pot glamnetic also sent me over some lashes uh, they sent me two pair the pair that i have on now is uh lush and they come in a box like this, which is super cute. The other pair that they sent me is Lavish, and this is the style Lavish. And of course, they sent over the magnetic eyeliner that goes along with it. And I also have the Tom Ford Flawless Glow Foundation. This is it right here. This has been out for some years now, but this is new to me. And that is pretty much it. That's everything that I wanted to try. So hopefully you're still interested. Let's get into the look. All right. And for my base, I'm going to use this Sephora foundation right here. This is what I like to use as a eyeshadow base. It just always works really well for me. I've never had any problems. And I'm not sure about the brows. Um, I've been testing out a lot of looks and just not doing my brows. You know, just kind of shaping around them as far as like carving them out with the concealer. And I've kind of been liking the way that looks. Um, to me, it just kind of gives a softer look. So, and I don't really have a lot of brows, as you can see, you know, in comparison to a lot of women that are out there. I don't want to say that they're non-existent, but it's just not a whole lot going on there. And I already moisturized. Um, I used actually a thick moisturizer. I used that um, milk um, makeup moisturizer. I don't have it on my table right now to show you, but that's what I used. Uh, my skin here lately has been like super angry and it's probably because I haven't used all of my <laughs> skin care that I'm supposed to use because I could like go through so many steps at night you know I use my cleanser I use a essence I use a toner a essence um, a serum a moisturizer and an oil and it's like anytime I deviate from all of that my skin gets really pissed off now why have I deviated from that just just a lot going on over here at my house it's just a lot <laughs> it's just a lot going on all right so got that all applied and i don't think you know what i'm gonna go ahead and set it i'm gonna use the, i'm gonna set it with this um wet and wild focus banana powder all right so i'm just going to just set that and typically i don't but because i put so much moisturizer on or the type of moisturizer i don't want any confusion i'm just gonna use go ahead and set it all right so yeah and i mainly got this to use as a under eye setting powder so all right so let's get on into this palette and this thing is super big uh the packaging is super cheap which is pretty much consistent with all of wet n wild's uh products but um here it is very pretty 
So let's see what it does. Let's go ahead and they have these greens in here, right here. That's pretty, this blue and this green. I'm gonna start off with, I guess this shade right here, whatever this shade is. It's numbered on the back, but I don't have on my glasses and I, I, don't, I don't, I just, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, and there's not a lot of kick up from what I can see. So I'm just gonna place that right up here. Okay, and so far so good, really nice. And I believe that the, well, I already know that, oh, had I not said it, um, my base, I know the, um, the pigment would be a little bit more um, uh, pigmented, you'll be able to see it more, I think. But then again, this is a light color. So we're gonna keep it moving. So far, so good. I think it's the application is really good. You know, it's not skipping or anything. And I'm just using a really cheap BH Cosmetics brush. This is one of their, uh, is this one of their vegan brushes? I think this is one of their vegan brushes. I don't even know if they sell these brushes anymore. I'm not one to spend a lot of money on brushes. You know, people pick and choose how they spend their coinage. Okay, enough of that. Let's move on to the <laughs> next shade. Um, no, 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 no. It's so many in here to choose from. Um, I think I'm going to, let's, ah, damn it. Okay, so let's use this one, this shade right here. That's pretty. And I know you may be thinking, Bridget, you kind of, okay, this palette is so big, I don't even have any place to put my stuff hardly. I know I'm talking a lot, I'm talking a lot. Okay, all right, so let's find us a brush. We're gonna need a soft brush, a soft fluff, fluffy brush. And this is just a Morphe brush. I don't even know. I have to put it on the screen <laughs> what kind of Morphe brush this is, but we're gonna put this right in the crease. Okay, okay. All right, I see you girl, I see you. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I have to be silly if you would just, if you just knew uh, of the buffoonery that was going on over here. You just gotta, oh wow, this is nice. All right, and to deepen that up a little bit more, um, I'm gonna go in with this chocolate this chocolate shade right here. Okay, and there is some kick up with that shade. And this, this is like layering really good. It doesn't look to be patchy or anything. I'm shooketh. <laughs> Have y'all tried this palette? I'm like so shooketh. And I'm gonna bring it down right here on the lid. So, for the inner eye, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. And it's like a pretty metallic pink. And I'm just gonna do um, a cut crease type of situation. And I'm gonna spray my brush. And if you all uh, follow me on a regular, you all know that I don't go through the steps of, you know, like cutting, cutting the crease with a concealer and then adding, I don't do all that, mainly because I'm lazy. Well, no, I'm not gonna say it's because I'm lazy. I, I've just, when I have, I have tried that years ago and it just didn't work that well for me. It was like my metallics were, like after I added the concealer and then I came back and added the, what is this in my eye? The, um, the shadow it was like sticky or it just didn't set well. It, it was still kind of thick. It was just weird. So I just apply mine like this. Yeah, so this is pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so I got all of that applied and I think I'm gonna use this one next. 
this one. It's like a copper shade. I'm gonna use that shade next. And I know you all are probably like, girl, those shades don't even go together. <laughs> now that I have it on, I'm kind of thinking it doesn't, but oh well, it's on now. Let's add a little with the finger. I don't know, I think I like the first shade better. I'm a little bit more biased towards pinks. Pink and black is like my favorite color. I wanna use the blue. Can we just use the blue? I know it might look, look a little crazy in the end, but oh well, we're just gonna use this one. We're gonna go for it right here. So it's definitely pretty. Let me do this other side. Okay, I wish there was like a metallic brown in here that I could put on the outer V, but um, it's not. Okay, so now that I have all that done, I'm just gonna go back in with that chocolate shade and see if I can deepen this up. If not, I'll have to add the black. Cause what I plan on doing is um, doing a semi winged liner. All right, so got all of that done. For the lower lash line, use this shade right here. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to reapply this once my, um, all of my makeup is on. All right, and for the eyeliner, I'm gonna use the the Creamy Gel Eyeliner by The Cream Shop. This is it right here. It doesn't say on here whether it's matte or not. Something in my eye. And it doesn't say on here whether it's matte or not. I'm hoping that it is matte. Here's the packaging. It's kind of dry for it to be a gel. And I'm wondering if I should go ahead and apply my eyeliner for my lashes since it is a, um, since they are magnetic. This is the Tom Ford Flawless Glow Foundation. And you squeeze it, or the button, and then you squeeze it. I hate these type of applicators. It's very fluid. The coverage looks light on it. So I'm wondering if I add more, will it just make my face even more glowy or will it, you know, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see, let's just test the waters and see what happens with this. Okay, so it's super glowy. Plus I put on a thick moisturizer, so yeah. Let's move on. All right, so where is the concealer? All right, so this is their Mega Concealer, and this is supposed to be full coverage. And let's see. So I think they had one other, was it how many shades deeper than this one? It may have been two. Is it one or two? I don't know. And again, this is just highlighting purposes, video purposes. Um, so we'll, we're gonna see if this is really full coverage. And for the inner part of my eye where I, the, I always have a issue kind of getting the sponge, I just use a thin brush. Okay, 
and it says that it's full coverage and it's looking like it really is full coverage so i'm actually liking this concealer this is nice i'm shocked i really was not expecting it to be like this do y'all see that hmm okay all right let's move on <laughs> All right, so to set this pretty concealer, I'm gonna go in with this powder that's new to me. I'm sure it's been around for like 100 years. So, I'm just gonna put it on my sponge. And see how well these bad boys play together. Mmm, it's really pretty. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so I'm not going to uh, use a oof, a cream bronzer like I normally do. I'm just going to go in with this Milani face palette. And it has a bronzer, a blush. It even has some eyeshadows. So I'm going to use these four pieces, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and bronze. Ooh, it's really pretty. And I think I'm putting on too much, but oh well. It's makeup, it washes off, right? Okay. All right, next up is the blush. And it's kind of deep. Here's the blush right here. So, I typically overdo it with a, blur, with a blush, but let's just put a little. Okay, I think I got too much of that on. I'm gonna get some of that off. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to use some of this highlight. I'm gonna mix these two together. This is the highlight. This is the blush, like a metallic blush. And that just looks straight up gold. I don't know if I like that, but. All right, and then I'm gonna add the pink. I'm gonna take some of this off of my nose. You all know I don't use a lot of powder, so I'm not gonna be powdering right up in here because it looks like it just kind of gives like a, a natural glow. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is gonna be looking when I edit. <laughs> Let me get some of this off. There's something about it that I'm just not liking. What, I don't know. Okay, all right. Got that done, and I think, for the sake of the palette, I'm gonna use this shade as an inner eye highlight. That's pretty. Can y'all see that? That's pretty. And then for the lower lash line, I'll just go ahead and use this shade and this shade. I'll put this on the inner lower lash line and that on the outer. And then on the inner lower lash line. I'm not a really big fan of Milani eyeshadows. I can't even see this one. This one ain't really showing up. All right, so now it's time for lashes. And I got two pair. Um, this is Lush. This is the style Lush. And then I have Lavish. And this is the style in lavish. So I think I want to try, um, I'm gonna put on Lux. I'm gonna put on this shade or that style <laughs> of lash. So you get a magnetic liner, comes in a box like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and see. I've never used magnetic lashes before ever in my life. So this is gonna be super interesting. I actually have a pair from a drugstore, but I've never used them. And my husband bought those for me. Can you believe it? <laughs> he knows I love lashes. So if he's ever at the drugstore, sometimes he'll just pick me up some, which is super sweet. Okay, y'all, let's try them, let's try them, let's see. And it's so cool. They have like a little magnetic tray that they sit on, like, it's a magnetic strip. See it right there? Oh my God, they are sticking. Oh my God, this is a drill. Holy schmazole. Okay, so now we need lips. 
we need some lipstick and I'm gonna go with this uh, physician's formula the healthy lip here they are right there it is Okay, y'all, I think this might be it. And it looks like I lost a little bit of this blue color right here of this one. So I'm gonna go back in and kind of add a little bit of it just to see if I can get it to pop a little bit more. Cause after I've added the eyeliner and all this other stuff, I, I feel as though it's kind of, it kind of got lost in translation. All right, so that's it. This concludes the look. <laughs> Let me know if you've tried any of the makeup that I've used in this video. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches. <sighs>